Howdy folks, today we are doing an experiment with stinging nettle. I need to harvest it and I am going to use gloves and a pair of scissors and I am going to cut and put it in this bowl right here. I'm, I'm harvesting them purposefully while the flowers are on and that is when they are at their strongest and I'm going to make teas and stuff like that. First, I need to deactivate the little glass shard like things on here, which have histamine and other chemicals in them that actually do the stinging. Well, when it says stinging nettle, they actually do sting. So uh, the way to do that is with heat. And uh, I've read conflicting information about whether it can be done just by air drying. So drying it out. So today I'm going to harvest and I'm going to do both. I'm going to dehydrate the lion's share of it. And I am also going to put some out in air dry it. And I'll go ahead and use my, use my arm and we'll test it and see if it actually deactivates it. So stand by. We'll show you the process of what I'm doing here. I am next door in the office working on this. So this is one branch right here that I went ahead and I took the leaves off. This one is actually going to get discarded. This is the throwaway stuff because of bug spots or dirt or something. So this is how many leaves come off of one. What I've been doing is I've been holding with one glove and pulling the leaves off with the other and this conserves space. I just can't take all of this and throw it on here because it, I, I don't have enough space in the dehydrator itself. So this is about how, fill I'm, how full I'm filling them. There are a couple spaces where I could put some smaller leaves, but a lot of them are big here. So I have, let's see, four trays in already, and this will be five, that one will be six, and then I have a couple of other trays of other stuff in there. So this will be a dehydrator full of stinging nettle, which means that all of these, or the majority of these, are gonna end up getting just air dried. And if they sting me when they air dry, then what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and toss them in the dehydrator for uh, an hour or two just to deactivate them. But, but we will see that a little closer to the end of the video. And once we figure out if air drying them deactivates the stinger or not. This is what is left and this is way too much to air dry so my dehydrator will be finished tomorrow and I will go ahead and dehydrate a second batch. So what I'll end up keeping, I have dehydrator trays here, I'll probably keep one tray worth and air dry it. The dehydrator is right here, nine trays, I'm using four for other stuff and it is fruit and I have it set for 135 because of what's in there. I don't like doing herbs that hot, so my next batch tomorrow when I put the other ones in, I'll go to 95, which is what is recommended for herbs. They spent 18 hours in the dehydrator at 135 degrees, and I went ahead and rubbed it on the back of my hand or just dabbed it on the top of my, top of my hand. I didn't feel it immediately like I normally do with these, but after a couple of seconds, I did still feel a little bit of burn, so these things are not completely, totally knocked out as far as not hurting you so I, I think I can handle them with the front of my hand but I would definitely be careful with it on the back of the hand. The stinging nettle has been sitting out air drying for oh what's it been it's probably two and a half three weeks at this point I'm going to go ahead and touch I'll be honest it's not as bad as it is normally so I feel it, but I do have to say it is a little bit, it is quite subdued compared to fresh on the vine. I, I actually yank my hand away when I touch on the, and I did that on the back part of my hand here, the soft part, and I hit it. And when it's on in the ground itself, I back away. I mean, I, I definitely feel it. It hurts a lot more. I feel it here. I got a little bit of stinging going on, but it is definitely more subdued, way more subdued than it is when it's fresh in the ground. So this does help. I'm going to go ahead and pick this and just put it in the jar with the rest of the stinging nettle. So we went ahead and bottled up the stinging nettle, just added it to the other stinging nettle that we had, and we are all set for teas.